So I'm not in quite entirely sure which of these units is mine. I don't know, I'm just gonna start trying my key in each lock. To make things worse, I'm not entirely sure which of these keys goes to my storage unit. I don't even know if this is the, the correct aisle. The only thing I know is we're on the right property. And this is my personal unit. This is not uh, one that I bought. I have no idea. So remember this unit? It's been a while since I've been here. I'm checking myself for spiders because there were so many big spiders on here. I'm starting to tweak out thinking about it. So my hope is to have this unit emptied out next week. Um, I'm gonna refill it, but we'll get this stuff out of here. This is all shipping materials. It's boxes stacked on the bottom and these mailers here. I don't even know what happened. this. Oh good, more Shopco stickers. Probably just kind of tossing those. This is a pallet of hangers. We got more shipping boxes. This entire pallet are these. I really need to start listing these because they should sell really fast. If I remember right, this is like a $5,000 pallet. I'm trying to remember. I don't know if that's accurate. This is just Office Depot product that can go in the next sale. This as well. Oh, I'm trying to squeeze through. And this as well. No, not this one. These two in the back are Office Depot product, as well as that one. This is what I came here for, for these. I might have a buyer on the entire pallet of these. Is this one missing the wallet? No, it's in here. At two bucks each, or a dollar eighty each, my bad. I paid a buck seventy-five each. But this is like a thousand dollars. So if I can get a thousand bucks back, this is, you know, when you're an end buyer, you don't all get only good stuff. This is some crappy stuff. If I can make my money back on this, I'll be very happy. This is the other one I want to try and make my money back on. It's these stupid data binders. They're not really, not really a whole lot you can do with them. And this pallet cost me like 1900, if I remember right. But anyways, this is what I told her I'd send her one at no cost so she can see if it'll work for her. I'm gonna bring a couple though, just in case. I have another interested party. Maybe we can get these sold. So the plan is to empty this unit out, get all of that stuff in the warehouse, and then uh, sell it. And then, oh, I can't open this. And then fill it up with the eight or so pallets of shelving that I have in my garage. I cannot wait to get my garage back. I hate keeping stuff that isn't my car in there. Kind of tempted to grab some more of this stuff. Nah, I think we'll leave it for another day. Look at this. I got it on time this year and it's not even due till December. I think last year I did it in like April. So really late. But seriously though, the spiders massive friggin' spiders on there. I'm not talking like daddy long legs. I'm talking like the ones that look like a marble with these thick legs coming off them. Can I get through here? We're about to find out. Oh boy, this is tight. And that's the edge of the road. I feel like I'm driving through the woods here. Look at how close we are. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna make that without going off the road. Only one way to find out. And I'm right up along these units. These people have to be wondering where the heck is this guy coming from? All right, now we'll get that bag shipped out and I'll get some eBay orders to go out. I am sweating. It's 82 degrees, holy crap. It was a little chilly this morning. It was like 59 and rainy. I thought it was going to be like that all day. Thankfully, I brought a pair of shorts with me. Like a marble with pipe cleaners for legs. All right, we've got 17 orders for 480. I still got a mess in here from the dollar sale, so we're going to have to go around this way. That's fun. And I sold, I think this one, 30 bucks. Wow, I got really close to retail. I paid 2% of that number at Shopco when they closed. I got $49.99 for this. This is a receiver and a transmitter for a Minolta camera on the electronics recycling pallets. I did not test it. 
because there's really no way to test it. But these things are in like, like in immaculate condition. I'm pretty sure they've never been used. So this is an example of a time where I'm just going to take the gamble and say it probably works. Of course, I do have a 30 day no hassle return policy. So if it doesn't work or they simply change their mind, they can return it. All right, now we need to get over here. Oh, that's right. I have pictures of all this stuff. I need to list it yet. All right, so I sold the remote. That's going to be not this one, not this one, but very similar to these. This one right here, it is for a projector. I took an offer for six bucks, so I'm walking away with like a buck fifty. I got it for free. I've got a whole bunch of these, and they don't seem to be moving, so yeah. All right, let me reach over this cart. I got 30 bucks for this. Not entirely sure what it is. A serial server, if that means anything to you guys. 30 bucks. You know, that is actually something really cool. When you go to a restaurant that serves cereal, and the person who brings you serves you the cereal, they're the cereal server. All right, G03. So far, I think almost every time I've sold one of these, it was right on top. So let's see if this one's on top. Hey, it is G03. What did I get for this? Like 20, 20, 25 bucks? 24.99. Next, these two Mishi scarves. Um, there's all these Mishi purse covers and tablet cases. I got all these for 15. I've sold several of the purse covers. Uh, nice profit so far. I got 20 bucks for these two scarves. Here's a nice one, 45 bucks for this. It is brand new. All right, I got, took an offer for 40. He bought two of these for a total of 40. These are the, oh, I can't reach. The price guns from one of the Gymboree or Crazy 8 stores. I think I spent five bucks on all of them. I've got two left and I think I've sold three or four now at this point. Here's the target item. We're looking for a size eight right on top. Uh, sold for $14.99. I paid $0.50 cents for it when I bought 11,000 pieces of clothing and shoes from Target. Uh, so $0.50 cents sold for $14.99. I'll walk away with about 9 or 10 after shipping and fees. All right, we got a GPS up here somewhere. I think it's up here. Right here. Oh, man. I didn't realize I had the cradle and everything. Took an offer for $12.50. Hopefully, we can still go first class with this. Took an offer here from a viewer for 17. We're looking for AA11. Right here. Paid 50 cents for it, came on the Target pallets. It is brand new with tags with a retail price of 50. Um, I did accept the offer because it was a viewer. These, I sold one of these for 25, same exact swimsuit, not long ago. So Amanda, I appreciate the purchase. Hope you enjoy it. We're looking for a 30 to 50. That's gonna be this one. I sold two of these for a total of 18 bucks. I got these on the Lowe's pallets. Does it say what retail was? Oh wow, $27.98, the clearance is at 15. That is not what they're going for online. I did take a bit of a lower offer because he is buying two. Saves me a bit on shipping. I think the last one I sold was, was probably in the last video, 10, oh, I'm sorry, like 15 or so. Only a couple of these left, $22.99. Uh, I got these for free when they came out. I happened to be in a hotel the next day uh, on October 23rd, 2015, and they were tossing them, so they said I could have them. And I just kept them for a while. Now I'm finally selling them because I've got too much stuff. But if you want to see what they look like, I've got another recent video that I open one up and show you. Sold two of these emergency lights for a total of 34. Now... Original price was 40. They were clearance at 10, which is why the price might be lower. But I got 34 for both of them. They came on the Lowe's pallets. All right, sold this for $69.99. What is this? This is two of these under sink filters. I got them on the Lowe's pallets. You can see I've got a lot of them. A lot of the boxes were water damaged, so that's why I'm selling a bunch without the boxes. I believe I sold one the other day. You would remember better than me. Um, this is the retail case, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the factory case. I'm going to put a shipping label right on this. The case is not in the picture. All you see in the picture are two of those. If less of these were water damaged, I'd be selling most of them this way. 
This will clear up some shelf space. I sold this for 25 bucks. This is the charging station from these, which are the handhelds they use at Toys R Us. I got the charging stations free, uh, which I found out they wanted to charge me for them. Heh, <laughs> get it, charge. Uh, they wanted me to pay for them, but after they closed, they were still available. So one of the employees just said, screw it, you can have it. So I sold the last one for 25, took a low offer. Um, the other ones, I think I sold four of them for like 350 bucks, but I'm sick of looking at this one. And lastly, I sold one of these door hinges, open box. I think it's just poor packaging. They're all kind of messy. Uh, this is the door hinge sensor for a security system, the Lowe's Iris system. Can't guess where I got these. The Lowe's pallets, I spent, or I got 15 bucks for it. What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. So we've got some eBay stuff to ship. Let me show you the first item. I'm enjoying these. $69.99 for this. What is this? It is two of these. What are these? It is this. Yeah, if you've been following the last videos, you know the story here. All of these came on the Lowe's pallets in varying conditions. Some we can ship in the uh, case. Some we couldn't, we had to go individual, and some even some water damage, so we had to take them out of the package, but they are still in the plastic. Uh, so I got $69.99 for a two-pack, and because I did not advertise or take pictures of it in the factory case, I'm just going to throw a shipping label on it, and we're going to ship it out. I am at Savers in Minneapolis. I love Savers. This would be a good item. I want six. It's going for about 50 but there's another piece that's missing. Uh, there's a little flag with a cannon next to it that's sitting next to it, but it's Department 56. Always look for those. Someone's spying on me. Sabres out here can be priced high, for example, that. But you can find some decent stuff. 15 bucks for this neat desk. It goes for about 100 and it's got the cords. 5 bucks. oh, never mind. I did not see that dent. So we're going to put this back. Uh, we get $6.99 on this camera. This is about a $25 game on Amazon, six bucks. And I grabbed this for four, so I can take pictures of hats a little bit better. This is kind of cool, a vintage Sony tape recorder. Prices are all over the board, 100, 200, but they want 30, and I don't know if it works, so I'm just gonna leave it, but it is neat. This is a good find, and I've sold it before, but not for 30. That's the thing about coming here, you're gonna find good stuff, but some of it, they might price you out a little bit. Holy crap, this is fancy. Look at this boombox here. Supersonic, I'm gonna look this up. Well, you're not doing a ton of thrifting here, but there is one more thrift store that I wanna check out. It's my favorite one, it's called Unique. It's in the Savage area. We're gonna go get it. I am at Unique Thrift Store. So it's not looking good for this store. I don't know if they just got bad or if they haven't restocked yet this morning, but I spent five bucks on a power cable charger for a Sony Handycam, and eight on this alarm clock with a phone. These go for about 100 to 200 on Amazon. I think it's not even that the stuff is priced too high. This, what? <laughs> Box top pencils. Anyways, I don't think the stuff is priced too high. I think the issue is there's just not really much out. Uh, for quality stuff that you know would make sense for me to grab Normally I'm not here this early though. They opened maybe half an hour ago Normally I'm here later in the day because it's about a five-hour drive from where I live. So It's gonna be worth a couple bucks It's about a five-hour drive. So I usually don't get here until it's the first store I hit. So it's usually later in the day These are usually worth looking up. It's a bit of a slower mover, but it's about 34 bucks after fees on Amazon if it works. It should work as long as batteries didn't corrode inside. So remember the unit that was collapsing? Well, I've got a full trailer load I'm going through. This is all trash. Um, the plastic bin and the wicker basket, I'm gonna keep those, but they're just full of trash right now. This is stuff for the dollar sale as well as that. And those plastic bins usually sell decent. Uh, what else? I have to look that game up. Uh, that Funko Pop, I don't expect to be worth much, but I do have to look it up. And this is it. It looks like a lot of trash. It's just garbage bags, and there's no organization to them. I pulled a PS4 out of one of these garbage bags. The power supply was not was with it, but not in it. So I gave it to my guy to see if he can get it working. If not, 
it still should be good for about a hundred bucks for parts. Well, last time I sold one a hundred for parts, maybe closer to 75 now. I did get some more comic books. I don't think I mentioned there were like 3,000 comic books. That might be a bit of an exaggeration. Here's a little stack here. I'm doing all, I do all right with comic books in local auctions. Oh, uh, what else? There was a PSP. I'll show you when I find it. I found it when we were loading this up. We got some coins. Got to go through those. Check for silver. This, the hinge is a little busted, but nice little toolbox. That's mostly junk. But it's full of uh, like electronics repair stuff and whatnot. I wish there was a full set of these. I'd probably keep them for myself. The guy clearly repaired things, so I'm thinking most of the laptops and stuff that I find are not going to be functional, but you never know. But I should be able to get a good 50 bucks for this toolbox. This was cool. Scarface lampshade. Pop that little dent out. Uh, this is a Harley Davidson bicycle. I bet that's worth a few bucks. Some toys. This is vintage, usually worth some decent money, but it's pretty beat up. So I'm just going to throw this stuff in the dollar sale. You'd be surprised how much of that sells. This is all clothing, bedding, stuff like that, which does well in the dollar sale. That's trash. It's mostly underwear and, uh, you know, general trash. I haven't gone through this box yet. Uh, let's take a walk inside. I've got some stuff that's going to a local auction. We've got this, a couple decent larger toys, nothing too exciting. Uh, oh, losing stuff. Got a PS3 controller. This says Mac Tools, but it's Craftsman inside. So a few things here. The PS4 was pretty cool to find. It was all put together, but without the power supply, and the power supply was in with it, in a garbage bag full of clothing and toys. I hate going through garbage bags. So I'll keep going through this and update you as I find stuff. This game isn't terrible. I get 981 after fees on Amazon, so we'll send that to Amazon. Here's a decent box. If these work, we've got a Wii. That I think is an external hard drive. Along with all the cores, controllers for the Wii. Second controller. We got a PS3 in here as well. And I think that's it. That's junk. Uh, a couple of pairs of Sony headphones. That's off brand. Some other things. These usually go 15 to 25 after fees on Amazon as well. There we go. This one's 25 after fees on Amazon. There's the barcode if you want to look it up. Uh, a whole bunch of other books. These will do well in the dollar sale. And then this is all Harry Potter books. A couple of duplicates and the cover's ripped off of that one. We're going to see if we can complete this. Obviously, this is not going to Amazon, but some of these could if we've got a decent set. Found it. We've got the PSP. We've got four games. There were a couple empty cases as well. These ones do have the games, but here's what's exciting. It's in the original box. It's got a stand. It just does not have the actual charger. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be a regular PSP charger that plugs into it. Yeah, it should be. But I've got a whole bunch of PSP chargers, so I should be able to uh, complete that, no problem. It was really cool to find in the original box. That doesn't happen too often. I've never found a PSP in the original box. So I looked these games up. We've got nine after fees on Amazon, eight after fees on Amazon. 17 after fees on Amazon. Now this one's a wild card. Uh, 46 bucks after fees. I think the price is a little high, but I should be able to get some decent money for it. Uh, at the very least, I've probably got about $60 worth of games here. And if this works, I haven't sold one of these in ages, but I'm assuming it's probably still worth about 40, 50 bucks. Now I did mention earlier that based on what I'm finding in the unit, I think this guy repairs the electronics, either for a living or as a side income. Um, but I think the PS3 or the PSP probably works just because it's in the original box and had a bunch of games with it. But that doesn't mean anything. He could have bought it broken with the games in the box and to fix it and flip it. I don't know. It's also possible he already fixed some of these that are in the unit. We'll find out more as we test it. The only thing we've tested so far as far as video game systems was the PS3 Slim, which did not read discs. I've got another PS3. Or do I have two more? I don't know. A couple of PS2s, a PS1, a lot of video game consoles in here. I'm not holding my breath on them though. And then the PS4, of course, was already partially taken apart. But maybe that can be fixed. 
The gaming PC, however, that's another story. I gave that to Nolan. He took it home to uh, test it and possibly fix it. It powers on, it seems to work, but he can't get a picture. So he's gonna mess around with it and see if he can get the picture to come out. Um, you never know, that could be a few hundred bucks if it works. Worst case, I bet it's 50 bucks just for the case and the parts, it's not that old. So I found a wallet and there's money in it. It's only a buck, but you never find money in wallets. So it's exciting. A couple more finds, we've got a Kindle, we've got a Samsung tablet. This is an HP laptop charger. It might go with one of the HP laptops I found. This looks like a pretty decent tablet actually. Well, this was exciting and quickly disappointing, but you know what? This is probably still worth about 20 bucks on eBay. So we've got another PS2, yet to find out if it works. This looks like it could be worth some money. It's pretty heavy, it's made of metal. This was a huge disappointment. Every one of these was empty. This probably would have been a hundred bucks, maybe. Unfortunately, it's nothing. I will be holding on to these in case I find any loose switch games ever. Nice to have cases. Now the back of the PS2 has a compartment right here. I always check it, both in storage units and when I find it at Goodwill. And nothing in it. I rarely find anything. Sometimes I'll find some kid's drug stash or something, but you never know. It's a great place to hide money if you're a kid, so you might find something in there. It's at least worth checking. Even if it's too expensive to be worth buying, it's still worth checking. All right, we've got five relatively small orders going out today. Let's see, first, only $5.50. Right on top here, a Disney movie on DVD. My bad, Blu-ray actually. Uh, this went to a viewer. The reason I accepted a $5.50 offer on this was because it's been sitting forever. I want it gone, and it was a viewer. Um, it was sold to, oh, I'm going to pronounce this so wrong, Marcello, Marcello, not as bad as I thought. Marcello, or Marcello, I appreciate your purchase. He says, yo, Rabbit, thanks for all the advice and the years on YouTube. You've helped me become a better eBayer. You rock. I certainly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the movie. All right, we've got another one. We're really dwindling down on the Legos. We sold this one, 40 bucks. Is missing one piece, and I did mention that in the listing. Look at that, there's only three sets left. Now, if you don't remember from the other videos, I paid $125 for all of them. There was a big stack of Legos, and someone called me out on this on another video, so I guess I don't remember what I paid someone to go through them. It's either 75 or 100 bucks. Um, when I'm saying numbers like this, Always go with the first one that I said on the first video that I mentioned. That's going to be the correct one because I'm going off num off memory. There are so many numbers to remember here. I'm assuming it was either 75 or 100 bucks for them to go through all of it, putting me at a cost of either 200 or 225, and I made some really good money on it. Next, I sold four of these pressure switches. One, two three and four i got 32 bucks for all of them these came on the lowe's pallets hold on the lego set i forgot to mention it was from a viewer um he says we watch your youtube channel thanks so much for all your help some of our biggest hits have been because of the information you shared could we get a signed card and a shout out to april bean frugal so shout out to april bean frugal um tony bought it tony i certainly appreciate the purchase tony and april i presume i hope you enjoy the lego set now moving on we've got a 79.98 sale now this one is slightly amusing they bought two of these uh for a total of 79.98 these are 69.98 which is two of these in the box like that don't know why they bought these maybe they just didn't see the other listing but I'm happy, got an extra 10 bucks basically. So $79.98, these came on the Lowe's pallets. And lastly, I sold this by sending a best offer. Looks like I've got one left. It's this little tiny um, electronic football game. It's a keychain size. I picked these up at Goodwill. I think I paid like two to four dollars each. They did not end up being a good purchase. But at 10 bucks, I'm still walking away with about five after shipping and fees. So I didn't lose money.